of energy and in this video we're going to talk about mental and emotional stressors so mental and emotional stressors this is the first category okay uh, the biggest push to the adrenal glands uh, for most people is going to be mental and emotional stress some of these things are uh, under our control and some of them are not. That's more of a psychological issue. To give you an example, one woman I worked with, uh, she was experiencing significant grief over the death of her husband. So when facing such a tremendous loss and under such tr uh, immense stress, women's hormones change, right? In several cases, I've seen women enter into a complete health crisis from a trauma or grief. Uh, this woman developed chronic fatigue. Her symptoms included things like inability to sleep well, uh, being tired all the time, tired after meals particularly. She had bloating and digestive issues, and she, she was physically depressed. But she went through significant changes when we recommended her, you know, changing her diet and got, getting off her of certain grains and things like that. It was causing a lot of other problems. And put her on more of a natural hormone program which made a big difference to her too. So finally after you know, months and months of doing this, we cleared up all of her chronic infections, all of her gastrointestinal tract infections, and now she's completely recovered. You know, hormones are functioning way better, and she has high energy levels, her sex drive is back, the ability to work is back for her. Uh, no longer she has this persistent headaches that were really debilitating to her, and everything's functioning at a better level now, and, and she probably hasn't seen this you know this kind of function for many many years and she's you know into her 50s right now so what precipitated her crash was the death of her spouse so this immense emotional stress that pushed her to a hormone pushed her hormonal system over the brink of what she could actually handle and it took months it took actually over a year or so and to get her back to where she was actually functioning a lot lot better and she has in, in over 20 years, basically, okay? So this is kind of how this works with emotional and uh, mental stress. So this is the end of this video, and I just want to leave you with one quick point. And if you get this, you can free yourself from chronic fatigue and pain and depression and overweight. The female hormones do not all of a sudden malfunction by themselves. They are responding to stress as a stress hormone called cortisol. Every molecule of cortisol that you produce comes from progesterone. When under stress, guess what happens? Your cortisol goes up and your progesterone drops. So what you need to do is you need to figure out what your cortisol level is and fix it. And throughout these videos, I'm going to show you the whole physiology of the female hormones and what you can do to actually get the results that you're looking for so you don't have these crazy symptoms that will help you eliminate depression, fatigue, night sweats, hot flashes, mood swings, all that stuff we just talked about. And it will improve your metabolism so you're able to actually start to lose weight again. This is Dr. Raj Banerjee. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one. Please make sure you like my video and also subscribe to my channel so I can continue to make these kind of videos for you. Your support is appreciated. Leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of other videos you'd like to see so I can make them for you. Thank you so much and please visit my site getleantoday.com.